In a previous video, I uploaded some DJI D-Log M footage, color graded in Defense Resolve, and I showed you a workflow. That workflow is okay, and as I mentioned in the video, I'm learning Defense Resolve. That workflow, I will still use. I will have several workflows. As I delve more into Defense Resolve, I'm discovering many hidden gems, they hidden to me, that allows me to really bring out uh, details and things that I didn't think I could bring details out in. Now, I'm working from my iPad 12.9, which actually I prefer to do color grading on because it's just easier to use than what I have installed on my uh, Macintosh desktop. So I'm going to show you another workflow. I'm going to use the exact clip that I uploaded in a previous video, and you're going to see a major difference. And this workflow is a little bit easier. And as I learn more about DaVinci Resolve, I'm sure I will uh, make life easier for myself. Now, this is what works for me. I can't speak for others. Okay, so what I will be doing in this video, I will be using the DJI D-Log M LUT and enhancing on that. And I really got some pretty good results. So the first thing I'm going to do is import some media. So I'm on the media page here. Gonna click on import media and go to my external hard drive here and go to Defense Resolve, D-Log M. I have some footage in here. I'm gonna select that very first footage and then click open. And click change. And that pulls in that uh, footage. This footage should look familiar to those who watched the last video. Next, I'm going to the cut page and I'm gonna drag that footage onto the timeline. I'm not gonna be doing any cutting here. I just wanna show you a process. Next, I'm gonna skip on over to the color page. Now, by default, a serial node has been created. I'm gonna give this node a name. So I'm gonna hold down the mouse key on that and go to node label. And I'm gonna call this um, LUT because I'm gonna drag a LUT on top of that. Now, I don't have the LUT installed on my iPad, so I need to go get it. Now, I already have it downloaded, and I'll leave a link to that LUT in the description of this video. So what I'll need to do, I need to exit DaVinci Resolve for a moment here, and I'm gonna go to my Files, then select on my iPad, then go to my DaVinci Resolve folder, double click on that, and there should be a folder in there named LUT. I'm gonna double click on that, and you'll find it empty. I'm gonna create a new folder. Let's right click on that new folder and I'm going to call that DJI Mini 4. Next, I'm going to go to where I know I downloaded that LUT, which is in the download folder on my iPad. So I'm going to go to downloads and here it is. I'm going to right click and do a copy. Then go to my DJI Resolve folder, go into LUTs, right click and paste. And there's that LUT. Now that it's there, I can exit this and then go back into DJI Resolve, come down to the settings wheel here and go to color management and click on update lists Then click save. Then up here at the top, select LUTs and it should be there and there it is, DJI Mini 4. I'm gonna select that and there's that LUT. So I'm gonna drag that and place it on top of this serial node. And when I did that, this received some color grading. Now, I'm not going to touch this anymore. I'm going to leave it right there. In fact, I'm going to place it right there. And I'm going to create some additional serial nodes to reflect the names of these right here, these color wheels. So to get these color wheels, we select on this icon. I'm going to create a serial node labeled offset, one labeled gain, one labeled gamma, one labeled lift, one labeled sky and one labeled sharpen. So I'm going to press on the option S key and let's pull this one down here. Let's do it again. Option S. Option S. And this first one, I'm going to hold down the mouse key, select no label and give this name of offset and on this third one name that one gain and on the fourth one 
We'll name this one Gamma. Next one, and name that one Lift. And on this one here, we'll name this one Sky. And on this last one, Sharpen. Let's get these lined up. And the reason why I'm going vertical with these serial nodes rather than going horizontal is because when I expand this out, I'll have more real estate. You will see here in a few moments. So let's move this over. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to touch that first one. I drag the DJI Mini 4 LUT on top of. Let's operate on the offset. So I'm going to select the offset serial node, come down to the offset color wheel, and just move that around. And I'm also looking at this scopes window over here. But I trust my eyes more than I do this. This is just a guide. So I'm going to stay right in there. And let's select the gain serial node and then operate on the gain color wheel. And I don't want this to go, the top of that to go above uh, 1023. So that looks about right. And while I'm in gain, I'm going to play with the saturation down at the bottom here. Almost maxed out. Let me back it out just a little bit. About right in there is fine. Okay. Next, gamma. I'm going to select the gamma serial node and come to the gamma color wheel and let's manipulate that a little bit. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Okay, right about there. And then the lift serial node and play with the lift color wheel. About right there looks good. Okay, moving along. Next, I'm going to select the sky serial node. Then select the windows icon right here. Then select the gradient tool at the bottom. And this pops up. I'm going to move this up to the very top here. And it's already just above the horizon. That looks good about right there. Then next, I'm going to select the curves icon. And let's see what I can do with this sky up here. So I'm going to come right in here somewhere. Let's pull that down a little bit. Look at that. See how that brings out detail in that sky? That looks good right there. Okay. Now, I can leave it as it is. But just to show you, I can also manipulate the colors in that sky. And once I've done this, I can go to the primary color wheels and play with these wheels here. So with offset, I'm going to come right to the middle there and move this over in the direction toward the uh, yellow, orange, and red. And look at what it does to the sky there. See there? Just slightly. Same thing with gain. Going to back it down a little bit. Gamma. and lift. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Next, sharpen. So I'm going to click on the sharpen serial node, then click on this icon right here. Then under radius, I'm going to come down to the bottom here and type in 0 0.47 and hit the enter key. And that's about as enough sharpening that I like on my videos. All right, so I'm going to place some of this back. I wasn't able to do this in the previous video with that workflow because I was experimenting. And each day I'm learning something new and different within Defense Resolve. Okay, so there you have it. Until the next learning adventure with DaVinci Resolve, you guys take care.